Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Uh, this is lecture 12 of the integral equation. Before this we did some methods for the solution of random integral equations of the second kind. Also we discussed about the homogeneous random integral equations. In today's lecture we will discuss about uh, the solution of random integral equations of the first kind. Uh, the following are the contents uh, of today's lecture. First, uh, we will discuss the standard form of freedom integral equations of the first kind. Then, uh, we will discuss about the method of regularization. And uh, then we will recall uh, the direct computation method also. And then uh, we will try to apply the method of regularization coupled with uh, the direct computation method to solve some test problems and finally I will end with references. Freedom integral equations of the first kind. The standard form of the freedom integral equations uh, of the first kind is given in 1 where in 1 k of xt is the kernel, f of x is the data function and uh, u is the unknown function to be computed. Remember uh, this data function f of x uh, well, must lies uh, in the range of k of xt. Uh, this means that uh, f k of xt is equal to exponential of x cos t. Then for any u of x, f of x will be a multiple of exponential of x. Then we say that uh, f of x lies in the range of k of xt. Uh, let me recall the previous two cases that uh, in case of freedom integral equations of the second kind u of x uh, was equal to f of x plus lambda integral from a to b k of x t u of t dt where in homogeneous freedom integral equations uh, u of x was equal to uh, lambda integral from a to b k of x t u of t dt so in both uh, previous cases u was under the integral sign as well as out of the integral sign on the left hand side. Uh, but in current case you can see that uh, u is only under the integral sign not out of the integral sign. And uh, the occurrence of this u of x under the integral sign uh, makes it difficult to apply the aforementioned methods. And uh, due to this the, the occurrence of this u of t under the integral sign uh, this produce complications to solve the freedom integral equations of the first kind. Uh, there exist uh, several method for methods for the solutions of freedom integral equations of the first kind uh, analytically and numerically but in current lecture uh, we will focus uh, on the method of regularization and the direct computation method to solve freedom integral equations of the first kind. Uh, we start from the method of regularization. Uh, the method of regularization converts the linear freedom integral equations of the first kind which is given in 2 to the freedom integral equations of the second kind in the form given in 3. So you can see that uh, equation 2 is the freedom integral equations of the first kind uh, where lambda is equal to 1 in this case and uh, to apply the method of regularization this equation 2 should be should be converted to equation 3 where you can see that equation 3 is a freedom integral equations of the second kind remember uh, this epsilon in equation 3 is a small positive parameter and uh, when epsilon tends to 0 so you can see from this equation that the solution will converges to the solution of equation 2 so this means that uh, this epsilon is a small positive parameter and uh, when this approach is zero then uh, our solution will converge to the solution of freedom integral equation of the first kind. So that's why uh, we will first uh, now apply the method of direct computation uh, for this equation and then the solution uh, which we obtain in this case that should be the solution of this equation to when epsilon tends to zero. 
Now, uh, remember this equation 3 can also be written in an alternative form. Uh, by dividing this equation 3 with epsilon, we are getting uh, equation 4. So, equation, we can use equation 3 and equation 4 equivalently. Uh, both are the same equations. Now, uh, let's try in uh, a specific example to check the method of regularization and the direct computation method. We consider the freedom integral equation of the first kind uh, given in phi. Uh, comparing this equation phi with equation 2, uh, f of x is basically uh, exponential of 2x by 2 and k of xt is exponential of 2x minus 2t. Remember, uh, to apply the method of uh, regularization, we first convert this equation phi which is uh, the freedom integral equation of the first kind to freedom integral equation of the second kind. So using the method of regularization, equation 5 becomes a ue of x is equal to 1 by 2 epsilon exponential of 2x uh, minus 1 by epsilon integral from 0 to 1 by 2 exponential of 2x minus 2t u epsilon of t dt. Uh, you can see from equation 3 that f of x has been replaced with exponential of 2x uh, by 2 and uh, k of xt with exponential of 2x minus 2t. Now, uh, this equation 6 can also be written as uh, in the form of equation 7 because you can see over here that exponential of 2x uh, exists in the first term as well as in the second term. And in the second term, uh, exponential of 2x is not a function of t. So we can take uh, exponential of 2x out of the integral sign. Then uh, by taking common exponential of 2x from both the terms, we are getting 1 by 2 epsilon from this term and minus 1 by epsilon integral from 0 to 1 by 2 exponential of minus 2 t u e of t dt and exponential of 2x. Now, from this step onward, we apply the method of uh, direct computation because you can see that this is now uh, the freedom integral equation of uh, the second kind. And also you can see that uh, f of x is 0, so this is also a kind of homogeneous freedom integral equation. Now, to find the value of lambda in equation 8, what we are doing, we replace this integral because this is only uh, integration with respect to t so we can replace uh, this with alpha as we did in previous cases so we replace this integral by uh, with alpha equation 7 can be written in the form of equation 8 where alpha is basically the integral from 0 to 1 by 2 exponential of minus 2t u epsilon of t dt now to determine the value of alpha uh, we substitute equation 8 into equation 9 to get equation 10 uh, because in equation uh, 9 we have alpha is equal to integral from 0 to 1 by 2 exponential of minus 2t and uh, u epsilon of t so this u epsilon of t has been replaced with this term you can see 1 by 2 epsilon minus alpha by epsilon into exponential of 2t this is basically the value of u epsilon of t now exponential of minus 2t and exponential of plus 2t, this will cancel each other. We are getting uh, 1 by 2 epsilon minus alpha by epsilon integral from 0 to 1 by 2 or dt because uh, this is a, a constant. So we are taking this out of the integral sign and just integrate uh, 1 with respect to t. So by integrating this uh, from 0 to 1 by 2, we are just getting t from 0 to 1 by t. So by applying upper and lower limit, we are just getting 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 epsilon minus alpha by epsilon. Now uh, we multiply 2, uh, uh, we cross multiply equation 10 with 2. We are getting uh, 2 alpha is equal to 1 by 2 epsilon minus alpha by epsilon. And uh, this implies that 2 alpha will plus alpha by epsilon because we are interested in the value of alpha. So we shift all those terms having epsilon on one side. So 2 alpha plus alpha by epsilon will be equal to 1 by 2 epsilon. Now by taking LCM over here and uh, after a little simplification, we are getting alpha is equal to 1 by 2 plus 4 epsilon. 
Now, uh, substituting the value of alpha in equation 8, we are getting u epsilon of x is equal to exponential of 2x and divided by 1 plus 2 epsilon. Now, uh, I told you earlier that uh, our solution u epsilon of x can be find out by taking epsilon tends to 0. So, when uh, we taking epsilon tends to 0 then u epsilon of x will approaches to u of x and this will be equal to a limit epsilon tends to 0 u epsilon of x so when epsilon tends to 0 this uh, part will approaches to 0 and we are just getting exponential of 2x by 1 which is equal to exponential of 2x so this is the closed form solution of the freedom integral equation of the first kind so uh, what we did we basically uh, first apply the method of regularization which converts the freedom integral equation of the first kind to freedom integral equations of the second kind and afterwards we apply the method of uh, the direct computation to find out uh, the solution of the given problem uh, these are the references so students have the book in soft as well as in hard form try to solve exercise 2.9 and if you have any problem, you can ask me through email. Thank you very much.